We continue our Veterans Day series tonight with another story from the last Badger Honor Flight of the Year. Our Braden Ross and photojournalist Jim Abraham were invited to join the trip last Saturday and have been bringing us stories from the veterans they met along the way. Tonight, we meet a veteran air, Vietnam era veteran, Braden. Yeah, tonight I'd like to introduce you to Wayne Martin. When he got his draft letter, his loved one's worst fear was seeing him ship off to Vietnam. Thankfully, that fear didn't come true for Wayne, but in his time in the service, still had a big impact on him and his family. Take a look. Well, everybody hated to get that letter, but I got it just for Christmas and said, be there in January. It's a story that many people in Wayne Martin's generation can relate to. They took the best years of my life as far as I was concerned. You know, He was fresh out of high school with a girlfriend he loved and his whole life ahead of him. I was just a teenager and just getting ready to have fun and then had to go play war. You know. But when Uncle Sam calls, there's not much choice but to answer. And I remember sitting and watching the taillights go out the driveway. I was really upset. I knew that. There were call-ups all the time for Vietnam, and that was my greatest fear. It was a bus to Milwaukee and then a plane to Fort Campbell, Kentucky for basic training. And everybody I went to basic training with was getting their orders for AIT, Fort Hood, Texas, which meant they were going to Vietnam. They called out my orders and said, OJT. Fort Riley, Kansas, I was excited. So thankfully, that worst fear didn't come true. Wayne escaped the trip overseas for the time being and settled into his role as a tow truck operator in Kansas. Meanwhile, back home, Wayne's girlfriend, Bia, was going to school here in Madison in one of the nation's most active anti-war hubs. It was on the news constantly, and it was right there in front of you because I don't those um, National Guard were around the square for months and months and months. In our apartment, we got tear gassed because the police were tear gassing demonstrators out in the road, and it came in our open windows. And that really brought it home to me that people are really rebelling. And I'm thinking, how does that affect him? He didn't have a choice. He got drafted. He had to go. Wayne made it home when he could, sometimes for less than 24 hours at a time. And eventually, he and Bia got married. But two weeks and a short honeymoon later, Wayne was off to Germany. He finished out his service in Germany towing trucks and tanks up and down the Autobahn. And when he got home... There was no welcome home. You're just back in society again and back in your job and trying to pick up the pieces. Now, Wayne looks back on his time in the service fondly, but he'll always recognize the sacrifice it took to get there. Veterans is why we got a free country, you know, and free speech, and, you know, if it wasn't for the veterans, it's hard to tell where we would be. And... Uh, you know, anybody's a veteran, I just tip your hat to them. We tip our hats to you, Wayne, and to all of the veterans who served our country in any way. I want to thank Badger Honor Flight again for letting us tag along on this trip and giving us an opportunity to share these stories. We'll still have one more story to share with you tomorrow night at 10 right here on News 3 Now. If you'd like to get involved in supporting a future flight, you can find all the information you need at badgerhonorflight.org.